Hey, what's up? Aaron here. Hope you're doing well. If you're watching this video right now, you might be checking out this website right here called QMe, and it says earn real cash with paid online surveys. So let's check it out. Is it legit? Can you really make money by you know taking surveys? And how much can you really make with QMe? All right, let's check it out. Now, at any time, if you want to get my favorite way to get to ten thousand dollars or more, one hundred percent from home a month, just check out the my favorite strategy right at the bottom at the link. All right. Now, on this channel, I reviewed hundreds and hundreds of different strategies online to make money. Some of them are really good. Some of them are so-so. A lot of them, though, are a bit of a waste of time. So let's check out QMe to find out whether this is a good way to make money online or may, maybe it's a waste of time, all right? Now, QMe is a very large and very old uh, survey website, all right? Now, it's not available globally, unfortunately, right? So it's only available in the US, the UK, Canada, Australia, France, and Germany. So if you don't live in any of those countries, don't worry, stick around till the end of this video. I'm gonna show you another very cool way to earn actually even more money than filling out surveys, all right? Now, with QMe, this is how it works. If you are in one of those countries all you need to do right here is just go ahead and click out sign up and you will sign up with your name your email your password and then very important all uh, survey websites work the same way once you actually get into the uh, the back office of the survey website, make sure you take a little bit of time to fill out your profile, right? Because if you don't fill out your profile, they're not gonna be able to serve you with enough surveys for it to be even worth your time, right? The more information they have on you, on your background, on your demographic, your interests, things like that, then they can serve you the right amount of surveys. Now, once you've actually logged in, the way that it works is, okay, and, and, and what a lot of people don't understand about surveys is they think that, you can get access to hundreds and hundreds of surveys every single day. Now, sometimes if you're lucky, it really depends on the season, right? If you're, you know, if it's, you know, summertime, for example, and they've got a lot of clients that are providing a lot of surveys, then you can get a lot of surveys, right? But sometimes there is a bit of a, a lull, like right now as I'm recording this video, and I'm gonna show you proof of this in a second, they're going through a lull of how many surveys that you're able to provide their, uh, their, their customers, all right? And a lot of people are complaining about it. So it just really depends. And then the other thing that you have to understand about taking surveys is you're not going to qualify for every single survey, right? So even though you have filled out your profile and they're trying their best to match you using their algorithms. Unfortunately, you still need to take a pre-qualification questionnaire and sometimes you might even be taking the survey and then maybe halfway through, they're like, they realize that actually you're not really qualified for this survey and then they disqualify you midway. So you've spent a lot of time filling out the pre-qualification questionnaires and sometimes even, even taking the survey and you still get disqualified. And so that can be a bit frustrating, but that's just the way that survey websites work unfortunately all right so that's kind of the same with QMe. they're no different even though they do give you access to decent surveys and you can make you know okay money I mean you know depending on the survey that you fill out all right um, I'm gonna show you right here right they have a range okay and it's similar to a, a lot of other survey websites that I've reviewed in the past okay I've reviewed hundreds of survey websites they pay anywhere from 10 cents a survey all the way up to three dollars a survey now very important for you to understand the sweet spot for most of the QV surveys will we'll kind of hover between 30 cents and 70 cents, okay? So yes, occasionally you might get a $3 survey, occasionally you might get a $2 survey, but those are very, very rare, all right? So most of the surveys will sit between 30 cents and 70 cents. So you can kind of do the math, right? Now, um, the, the amount of time that it takes, remember, you have to qualify for the survey first, and then it takes you the amount of time that they've stated here. So for example, 78 cents, it's an eight minute survey. Uh, 18 cents is a three minute survey, right? Um, and so it depends on whether you qualify for enough surveys for you to actually complete the survey and then make that money. Right, so you do waste a little bit of time qualifying. Sometimes you get disqualified. You have to, you know, build that into the time it takes for you to actually do the surveys. But um, we'll talk about how much you can make in a second, right at the end. Right now, here's what I do like about QMe, though. So unlike a lot of other survey websites, these guys will just credit you cash straight into your account. Okay, so that means that when you finish a survey, instead of giving you points like a lot of survey companies do, and then you convert the points into cash, they just give you the cash straight away, which is quite cool, all right? And then when you're ready to, and then when you're ready to withdraw, you can withdraw through PayPal, Venmo, and gift cards. So that's nice. You can either you know take it out through gift cards, or if you want, you can change it into straight cash, which is PayPal, which is super cool, and that's normal for a lot of good survey websites, right? 
The other nice thing that I like about QMe is there's no minimum threshold. That means with a lot of other survey websites, the minimum threshold is usually five to $10, and that can take a little bit of time to withdraw. All right, so you know, on average, and we'll, we'll talk about this in more detail in a second, right? It might take you a little while to hit $5. It might take you one week, two weeks, depending on, on how many surveys you get access to, right? If it's $10, it might take even longer, all right, for a lot of survey websites. But for these guys, for QME, there's no threshold. So even if you make 20 cents, you can withdraw it through PayPal. You might not want to because PayPal does charge a fee, right? But at least you don't have to wait until you know you hit $5 before you get to withdraw, which is nice, okay? So that's a little bit about QME. All right, um, let's talk about how much you can make and then what people are really saying about the QME platform, all right? So QME is no different from any other okay survey platform, right? I think the big disadvantage is they don't really offer it internationally. This is only in you know US, UK, Canada, Australia, France, and Germany, which is a pity, all right? And then with these guys, you do really have to qualify for the surveys and you're not gonna get you know hundreds of surveys a day. It's just gonna be a handful um, and then you also have to qualify for them. now. Here's how this works, right? On average, because of the range of the price of the surveys and how much time it takes to fill out the surveys and then qualify, maybe you get disqualified sometimes. On average, you can expect to earn roughly about 80 cents to a dollar for every hour that you put into uh, QME, if that makes sense, right? Remember that you are gonna get disqualified from some surveys, you might qualify for some, but on average, if you're having a good day, it'll be between 80 cents and a dollar for every hour that you're filling out surveys. Maybe a little bit less and sometimes a, a little bit more, all right? So you can do the math, right? Because people always ask, well, Aaron, how much money can I really make, uh, you know, filling out surveys? Well, the truth is not that much, right? On a good day, if you're on a good run and everything is working out well, like I mentioned, 80 cents to a dollar. So if you spend a couple of hours on QME a day, expect to earn anywhere from, you know, again, you know, maybe a dollar to two dollars, right? A dollar fifty to two dollars, something like that. So you do the math on a monthly basis. If you're chipping away at this every single day, you're looking at about 30 to maybe 60 bucks a month. So it's not a huge amount of money right? 30 to 60 bucks a month, you're spending two hours a day on the website, which is quite a lot of time if you think about it, right? So it's a little bit of bonus income on the side. You're not going to get rich this way, guys. I mean, it's, it's surveys, survey filling. It's, you know, no skills are required. It's 100% free, right? So you can't expect to make that much money from filling out surveys. But QME, when it's working well, is a decent website. So let's go and check out, um, you know, a third party review company called Trustpilot with QME, right? So on average, if you have a look here, you know, 7,470 reviews, you know, for a survey website, anything over four stars is pretty good, honestly, okay? When it's below four stars, that's when something's up, all right? And then when you have a look at the, the review structure here, most of it is five stars. All right, which is quite nice, all right? And the one star is pretty far away, but I'm always curious about the one stars, right? So I took a look at the one stars, and unfortunately, very, very recently, QME has been having a lot of issues, okay? So the one stars aren't accumulated from over a long period of time. The majority of them are happening right now, okay? So if I click on the one stars and just go and have a look at it, okay? Which is unfortunate because they actually have a pretty good reputation, but currently, as I'm recording this video, they're having some serious issues, okay? So a lot of these guys are saying, so look at this, I want you to see it, nine hours ago. So these are very, very current, all right? Nine hours ago, three days ago, all one stars, right? A day ago, one star, 30 minutes ago, right? A day ago, seven days ago, uh, this is like two weeks ago, right? This is like, um, and then this one, again, uh, roughly about you know a week or two ago, um, you know, two weeks ago, a lot of one stars, right? So they're all happening right now. And a lot of them are basic. This is what's basically happening. They're basically saying that they're not able to qualify for the apps, uh, for the surveys. So people are taking the time, but they're not actually qualifying for the surveys. And some of them are not even being credited for, you know, spending the time actually pre-qualifying for the surveys, right? And the response that QMe is giving is right now there is a lull in the process and they know that there is some issues going on with their survey providers, right? Because surveys aren't always high. The supply of surveys aren't always high. So because there's so little surveys, a lot of people are getting disqualified because they're just not able to serve as many surveys as they normally do during this period, okay? So you have to understand that filling out surveys, unfortunately, 
it comes with ebbs and flows, right? It depends on the season, it depends on the time of year. Sometimes they've got a lot of surveys, then it works well. Other times it doesn't work very well because they just don't have enough surveys. And so for you, if you wanna make money with survey taking, it's not that QMe is a bad company. I think that they're a good company. So if you want to make a little bit of extra money filling out surveys, I do recommend them, right? But you have to understand that it depends on when you are actually filling out surveys with them. So it makes sense to join several survey companies, right? Now, let me give you a cool little resource right here, okay, um, where you can basically go ahead and check out some cool surveys. And this will be very specific to your country, right? So I would come to surveypolice.com, go to online surveys, just go to top rated paid surveys. And if you really wanna get into this survey filling game, it will rank for you based on your country, what are the top survey panels that you can check out. For me, it's TGM, Prime, and Ipsos I say. For you, it will be slightly different because this will be, you know, it'll know what country you're logging in from and it will automatically rank the best survey companies for you. And I would just join the top five, to be honest, the top three, the top five, because every single survey panel is slightly different, right? And you always wanna get access to a lot of surveys and you can check it out. But QME, if it works in your country, if it's a good time, it's an okay, uh, it's a pretty decent survey company that you can check out. But remember, you know, when it's working well, 30 to $60 a month, it's not life changing, but it's free. It generally does work and they do pay out in multiple ways and it's free, which is really, really cool. So if you wanna check them out, QME, Dot com. All right, now if you're here watching this video right now, maybe you're looking for a way to make big money online and that's what I recommend. Look, if you're gonna be spending one to two hours, maybe five hours, whatever, at any time online, you should be making big income, not small teeny weeny income, all right? Now I, on this channel, I've reviewed hundreds of strategies, but out of all the good, bad and ugly strategies, there's one strategy that I actually use to quit my full-time job in 2019. I actually five times my old corporate salary um, and I you know, quit my full-time job uh, forever, which is really cool, it completely changed my life. So if you'd like to check out that strategy for free, I've got a free masterclass that'll show you how to do it. Just click the link right at the bottom um, in the description or the comment section below, okay? I hope you enjoyed that, I wish you all the best and I will see you very soon on another video review. Take care.